at this boat, guys. Wow, in a gorgeous morning. This is gonna be a good time. But fishing chart gives you lots of depth markings on the chart. And it gives you the bottom contour and everything. That's what I use. Okay. Yeah. You get your lines, uh, you guys are on your way. Thank you so much. Lots of whales out there, it is 100 yards from whales. Yes, sir. Captain of this ship. Whoa, this is crazy. It is a beautiful, oh man, <laughs> I am so excited. Look at how clear the water is, guys. Wow, wow, wow. What is going on, guys? My dad and I have rented a boat today, and we are going out. <laughs> We've rented it from Aloha Outdoors, and we are going out on the ocean. We've got trolling rods with us. We've got bottom uh, stuff with us. We got caught a whole octopus last night. We're gonna use for bait. It is gonna be a fantastic day out here. Very excited. I mean, does a morning get any more perfect than this? Perfectly sunny, calm. And I just have to say, you said we got the boat. That's not true. Asa got the boat. I'm along for the ride. It's the first time I think I've not been a captain of the boat when we've gone out, and I'm just kicking back and enjoying the day. So this is gonna be great. Thank you, Asa. All right, guys, let's go. Oh, wait, 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 look, there's a whale right there. Straight dead ahead. Oh, that is cool. And another one? We're gonna have to be careful, we have to go. There are a bunch of whales. Yeah, guys, we're gonna have to be, uh, we're gonna be real careful with all these whales around. But the uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put out some trolling lines here. So, uh, we got these pin reels. You can actually rent these with the boat. And uh, we got some lures here that we're gonna throw out, some different trolling lures. So we'll have two of those out. And as we're headed to a spot where we actually wanna bottom fish and barracuda fish, we're gonna troll some of these. Hopefully we got a mahi-mahi or ono or tuna. So while we're going here, we're gonna get these lines put out. This is the first one. Double hook, one right up close, one trailer. Kind of set up different color. One trailer hook, one right underneath. Some rat's nest, you're good. Guys, we just went through um, a bunch of flying fish scattered as we were uh, trolling along here, and that is a good sign. So maybe we're going through some uh, bait fish and stuff. So keep an eye out here. Oh, look, see those? See them? Oh, that's cool. Well, guys, I think we're gonna be done trolling for a little bit, and we're gonna try bottom fishing. Nothing yet, but we will go back to the trolling in just a bit. Guys, we got whales. We had to shut off the engines. Actually, you only have to shift in neutral, but we shut off the engines um, uh, because they're really close. You, uh, whenever you get within 100 yards, you have to shift into neutral or shut off the boat. They are really close. Hey, Pops, come to the front. I think there might be, come to the front. I think there might be one under us. I can't, can't tell. But if you put it underwater, it might be able to capture it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, guys, we have them right under us. That's a, like a once in a lifetime thing. Because you can't get within 100 yards, you have to shut off your engines. But luckily, the wind was just right. It blew us right over top of them. That is crazy, crazy cool. 
So what we've done is uh, we have got anything trolling, which is fine. It's a slow time of year. It's January, slow time of year to catch something on trolling. But and we'll, we'll do some tr more trolling later. But uh, we're going to drop some lines down and uh, and get fishing here. Do some bottom fishing now. All right. Oh, look how beautiful this water is. Reef fish is about 80 feet, I think, according to the old depth finder. Guys, check out how... On the, you see how the, the, the shades of the water, on this side is coral, on this side is sand, and there's actually more coral over there. So we're right in the highway, right between the coral, and that's where we found we catch the game fish, like the ulua and uh, snapper and things like that. More often is when we're fishing right in the highway, so we are right in a good zone here. Mm, we're right on a drop off. Got one. Got one. Good fish. Good uh-huh. Good fish. It's funny, I let it sink and that's when he took off. You mean you, you were just letting it? Yeah, because you know, our boat drifted right, a little bit. Right. So I'm going to make sure it's near the bottom. Let, right, let it down right. there and he bit in. Nice. Yes, guys. It's dark. It's a dark fish. It might. No. It better not be. It's a ras. It's actually a hogfish. What? Oh, it is. It's a hogfish. Nice. He left me my bait. That was nice that of him. Was real nice of him. Heck Do you want to try eating a hogfish? They're kind of hard to clean. Are they? But they are edible. That's... Should we let him go? You know, we don't have to. We could wait for something more edible. But, uh... As long as we get something more edible. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at that big nasty hogfish. I'm going to let this guy go. That is a cool fish, Jason. That is cool, though. First fish of the day, guys. Let him go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. I was worried he might have a hard time getting down to the bottom. All right, got pops. Nice. My dad has his first fish of the day. Oh, it's a Crazy. Oh, crazy crazy stuff. You never catch these. There we go. We catch a lot of these guys. If you're new to my channel, we catch so many. These are just just pure bait thieves. Yep. Toothy little critters. Well, at least you got the skunk out of the boat for yep, you. I'm now we that. both have one. Yep. Now let's get, get the real fish. Yeah, let's just get better from here. Yep. Whoa, big fish. Oh. Big fish. Nice. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That was a strong first run there. And it was just wait, it didn't like strike. It was just, uh, this might be an uku because now it's coming up a little uh, bit easier. Uh, that's what they do sometimes. They take off. Whoa, guys, wow, guys. A, a big he is. I might get the gaff this time. Hey, you never know. <laughs> might gaff our first fish. <laughs> so it's already down there oh, deep. I and love then, that sound. Guys, this is. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, Part of this whole thing is you gotta at least see it because that way if the line does break, at least yeah, or you knew it, what you lost. Or right? it throws oh, the man, hook. Or... He is really. Yeah, you want me to set that drag a little lighter? No, you... it's fine. It's <laughs> oh, guys, this is what as fishermen, this is what uh, you this is what not live for. live for might be an overstatement, but this is what you dream of. <laughs> Dying of curiosity. Oh, Pops, I think I think it's a papil or a new lua. Guys, I think I have my, my, my personal oh, best here. Wow, 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 I think wow. I see blue. I think so. Yeah, I see the blue white kind of pretty pretty color. Oh, now that's getting closer though, it doesn't look as wide. Looks like it might be thin like an uku. Oh, it's too white, I think, for a new. Well, yeah, if you got the belly up, then it could be an uku, that's true. Whatever it is, it's a good sized fish. What is that? No, I think I see a big forked tail. Yeah, I think it's a nuku. Oh my gosh, he's this is a good fish, man. Oh, dog. No. Oh, my oh gosh, it's a huge uku. Alright, get the gaff because we're going to keep this. Guy. Oh, Guys, look at this fish. 
This is my, this is my biggest snapper. Oh my goodness. Oh, get the, hurry before you. Come on, stay there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yes! Oh, oh look at that! Oh my this? goodness! Woo! Oh my gosh! Oh. 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 Look at the size! Guys, this is a gray snapper! Oh my word! Oh my gosh! Sorry, I got this is right the there. This is the biggest! Oh my gosh! By far! Here, let me get the hook out! Oh, I'm shaking! <laughs> I'll get you a <laughs> Guys! Look at that fish! We're gonna weigh this dude! Oh gray my snapper! Gosh. Our that favorite fish to eat. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Woo. I guess we're gonna kill this big dude real fast. Put him out of his misery here. I mean, just look at this. I cannot believe it. All right, guys, okay, we are going we go. to weigh this fish up. Oh, there's my scale. This will be the biggest fish this scale. You're gonna, ever you're gonna measure him first? Oh, okay, measure him lengthwise. Twitch a little bit. So this fish is 30. And you're not even at the tip of, of his mouth. <laughs> it's like he wants to bite. Yeah. A little over 31 inches. Nice. Since the boat's moving, we keep getting it's mixed. It's over 10 though. It's over 10. I'd over 10. About 10 and a half. Yeah, it, keep, it, it stays at 10 and a half the most. Wow. Yeah, we're not going to get a fish reading. Guys, the, the fish is swinging too much on the boat, so it's not giving us a an official, but it's between 10 and a half and 11 yep. pounds. Wow, very nice. <laughs> wow. Smash is my personal best of oh, like three gosh. pounds. <laughs> wow. Woo. Nice that, job, son. Nice cool. job. But guys, I was, I, was uh, I just dispatched my gray snapper and my dad hooks up on a fish. What do we got here, pups? But it's another one of my favorites. The one I'm cla classic me. <gasps> pups. Oh, oh no, it spit up something. I thought there was something, that shadow. Oh, I did too. I thought something was falling, it, but it, it just... spit up? It was big, whatever it, it spit, spit up. It spit up a bunch of like, I mean. a cloud. It's what, guys, this is one of those, uh, another hogfish. Oh, this is the, I think it's a, the female version. It's like, right. they're different colors. I looked it up one time. Yeah, that, that's a female hogfish. The, the red one I caught earlier is the male. Okay. Oh, there she goes. Oh, perfect. Quick, Quick release. release. <laughs> <laughs> we have enough meat for our barbecue oh, today. All right, my friends, the fish is bled out. We're gonna skip all the blood and guts part of this thing. Let me dip it one more time in the water. And, uh, you know, we have this cutting board right here, but to be honest, it almost is too small. All right, guys, what we're gonna do is, since it's so hot out here, we're going to, uh, I'm gonna flay this guy up and get the fillets in the cooler before I continue fishing. But my dad has his line down there, and so, we might get interrupted at any point here. Good grief. Look at that. Big filet of meat right there. <laughs> Cleaned it. Oh my goodness. We're going to get so many steaks off this pop. <laughs> and there is the other beautiful filet. I feel like we left some cheek meat as well. Oh, you know what? That slid right in. Let's see if we get the cheek meat out. Pops, I think I'm just going to throw this overboard for the sharks. What do you think? We got all the fillets on. Can't think of anything it's too big to bring back for crab traps, but a little shark food there, crab food. And we're just going to separate the meat from the skin there. Guys, look at that. We got... <laughs> We have a steak for the grill. A little get the scales off. Gray snapper steak. Well, oh. that is go big or go home. I'm gonna try something I haven't tried yet. Good knit. It's a whole octopus tentacle. We're gonna see. I'm gonna jig on it on a jig head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead, sorry. big heavy lead yeah. jig head. I'm gonna that put them is... about five, ten feet up off the bottom and see what happens. All right, <laughs> guys. I'm gonna put a leak to this shirt in the description below. It is the lightest, lightweight UV shirt I've ever worn. It protects me from the sun 
all day long. All I have to do is worry about my bald head putting sunscreen on. I mean, seriously, this is the lightest material uh, UV shirt I've ever worn. It's keeping me cool all day long. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you guys live in a sunny place or you plan on coming to Hawaii and doing this yourself and you're out in the hot sun fishing all day, this, this is seriously, this is an amazing shirt <laughs> right here. You strip your base really? Whoa. Come to the cooking part and how are we gonna cook on the boat? By the way, no bananas on board. Good rule. We open this up and in here we move our trash over that way. Trash over that way. And in here we have a grill. Check it out. We pull it out and it goes shazam. Oops. Hold on, technical difficulties. There we go, shazam, oh, not quite. Shazam, right in there. The propane is on and our little grill, just like so. <laughs> this is fun. Guys, if you wanna come out here and have this same experience, you can. I'll put a link in the top of the description to the company that rents out these boats, Aloha Outdoors. They are the one that sponsors sponsored this video. They are the ones who provide all of this. Any of you guys, if you come to Maui, can book with them. You can get this whole 24 foot beautiful boat. You can rent fishing rods, fishing lures, all the stuff you need for trolling. And then like us, we bring our, our other spitting rods and stuff like that and our octopus. That was all caught by us. But they provide trolling stuff. If you want to try to catch mahi mahi and wahoo and all that stuff, a grill on the boat. You can go whale watching. You can go turtle watching. You can go and even snorkel Molokini, the crater island over there. They have a tie up for this boat. Where, whoa, whoa, whale, whale, whale. Oh my goodness. I literally was looking right at. I don't know if I got that. Oh, oh and there's the baby. Oh my, oh my word. Oh my gosh. Sometimes when they do that, they start a little bit, you know? Guys, and it, look at this whale watching. You guys get to experience this too. This is the way to enjoy Maui. I was looking right at it when she came out. I just happened to be looking at that spot. I, I think I got her a little bit on camera. That's guys, you, look at there's the baby again. Guys, you, you guys can have to come out here and have the same experience for yourself. Let's see if she jumps. In the meantime, we'll put a link at the very top of the description of this video if you want to book with them. Anyway, come out here and you guys can do any of this stuff yourself. Fish, whale watch. That was a, that was incredible. That was the closest I've ever seen oh, a whale. Baby. Oh, there he is again. No, we're gonna keep the camera out here. Anyway, link in the top of the description to Aloha Outdoors. Check them out and enjoy this yourselves. We're gonna keep the camera out here just in case the mom jumps again we can get the whole thing guys i just realized i had my 360 camera on which looks all around 360 so we'll be able to see guys we'll see the whale jump let this thing heat up. It's gonna be a little bit difficult in this wind, but uh, we'll get it, hopefully get it nice and hot. In the meantime, let's prepare the fish. All right, guys, we have a problem here. We, um, we can start the grill, but we cannot keep the grill going because of this wind. It's winter time, even though it's really nice outside. It's Maui's winter, and so the winds pick up every afternoon like this, and so um, it just keeps blowing out our grill we can't get it hot we can't even keep it going actually what we're gonna have to do i was really looking forward to a cook on the boat but we kind of waited too long we fished too long we should have fished or we should have cooked while it was calm 
my bad. Um, anyway, what we can do is we can bring the fish back to the home, back to the house still, and cook it up there. So we're just going to finish out the rest of our time uh, fishing, and uh, we'll definitely troll on the way back too. Maybe get something big on the way in. All right, back to fishing for a little while longer. I'm actually cast up this side. You got some? Yep, I do. Whoa! Whoa! I was just about to call. I was like, "Well, pops, I think." Come on. I got a fish. You got a big one. Guys, my dad something big. I got a reel my line in. I had no bait. I was stolen. My oh, bait was. Oh, what do we got? Mate, do I have to get the gaff, you think? Or? <laughs> no, I don't think so. He's not doing what yours did. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is always the fun part is uh, yeah, the anticipation. seeing what's, what, it, what it is. It's it's a nuku. It's a nuku. I'll be Danny. Nice. All right. Second one of the day. All right. Oh, oh hold your fishing on. rod if you want. Yeah, you <laughs> Lift him in. Picture up real quick here. Nice. There's a little tight brother there. <laughs> That's a good fun. That is still fun. I think fun. we let him back in, don't you think? All right. Got a lot of meat. We do have a lot of a lot of big steaks. All right, guys. Here we go. Good time out here, guys. I uh, I wish I wouldn't have gotten greedy with the fishing. Wish I would have cooked earlier, because it was calm earlier. I could have could have cooked, but the afternoon trade winds came up. So anyway, next time we'll just have to come back out here and do it again. There you go. There you go. So my dad is letting out the lines. We'll back. Maybe we'll get something. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh! Guys, guys, guys! We just we had to stop the motor. Look at this weird. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Guys, we were just driving along. And he just. Oh, this arm. Yes, yes, it is. Whoa. Perhaps I have a better idea. Use this one. So it has sound. And then I'll get my big camera out. Look at that. Oh my word. That was cool. I mean, uh -huh. uh, like you say, whether we got it on video or not, that was that was sweet. Well, guys, that was uh, that was cool. We, they, they jumped just like one or two times a piece, and that was it. So by the time we got the cameras on, um, we actually didn't really get it that well, but that was still amazing. All right, guys, we are in the kitchen again here. Um, I was disappointed, obviously, when we couldn't use the grill. However, when we got back to the dock, the owner of Aloha Outdoors, or one of the owners of Aloha Outdoors, uh, the guy who picked up our boat and cleaned it all off and took care of everything for us, it was really crazy, actually, to take in a boat and not have to do any of the work. Very, very cool. But uh, anyway, he gave me this great idea. Um, he said gray snapper is his favorite sashimi. And I thought, wait a sec, I have never done any kind of sushi on my channel that, that I've made. I thought, I'm gonna do poke, or poke. I don't know how people say it, but the Hawaiian word is poke, which is basically just fish. Well, you know, I'll just show you guys. I'll just show you guys. Anyway, I'm about to make sushi for the first time on my channel. This is a pretty easy recipe. This is, I'm gonna do it a traditional Hawaiian way. And I'll just show you guys. The first thing we're doing is I'm just going to use one fillet for this because I've never done it before. So we'll we'll just try one fillet. We'll see if we like it. And if we like it, we can do more. But uh, I never do big batches of anything when we're in the uh, experimental stage. So we got this here. Got to cut the skin off. These are the pieces that we were going to do on the half shell. See like the thick skin there. And then I'm just gonna kind of dice this up. The, um, yeah. Okay. We're just gonna make. I'm just gonna cube it up. Nice little chunks here. I'm pretty sure that you see how there like uh, there's red stuff here in the meat. I think you want to cut all that away. The only reason why I think I know that is because I believe I've watched a YouTube video before on a guy making sushi. Like it was in detail, and I just remember that part. Like cut the red stuff away. 
You don't want to be eating that, I think. I'll probably make some mistakes here. I looked up a basic poke recipe, but uh, that was it. I didn't dive too in depth. We're just going to throw those cubes in the bowl right, like so. And that's all we're going to make for now since this is just this is the experimental batch. Next, we're going to get a new cutting board here. Take just a little bit of green onion. And I mean just a little bit since we don't have very much little bits there. We'll save the rest of that for when you make the big batch if indeed this turns out good. Just throw some of that in there. Next, we're going to take an onion. We just need a little tiny bit of the onion. Add that to our fish. Just a little sprinkling. Next, we'll add just a tiny bit of sesame oil. I was told just, just go very light. Some shoyu or soy sauce. Be a little bit more generous with that. And some crushed red pepper there. This was optional, they said, but you know me, I like spice, so I thought I'm gonna add a little bit to that. Stir it all around there. And we have our very first test batch of sushi. All right, Pops, my first attempt. Oh so I brought you some water in case you choke. <laughs> You need to cleanse your wow. palate. All right, sounds mm -hmm. good. Let's uh, say a little sure, prayer. Quick prayer, real quick. We need it for this. All righty, here we go. So what do we have here? Um, we this have is our gray snapper. Uku. Right. Poke. Uku poke. Uku poke. I'm gonna grab a little bit of onion. I think I'll do that too. Have some pepper. Have all the elements on it. Bon Cheers. Appetit. Mm. Uh -huh. You like it? Oh, yeah. I really like it too. Yeah, I was gonna wait till you spoke first, guys. Yeah. I didn't want you to be influenced by my boat. Mm. I really like it. Do this on the boat next time. Mm -hmm. Do it while we're out there on the boat. Like just bring the stuff with us. The ingredients, really simple ingredients. Hmm. Mm. Success. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Mm. Yeah. It was a fun day out on the water pops. That was. I enjoyed that. That was amazing day. Personal best. First time seeing yep. whales underwater like that. But I tell you, bringing up that ten plus pound uku was a lot of fun. It took a long time to we could finally see it. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Guys, if you want to have a same similar trip, you can. Put a link. Aloha Outdoors in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, Pops. Thank you one more time. Super fun time out there. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>